Hi all, uh, this is Michael here. <clears throat> In today's video, I'm going to show you guys um, how to actually update the Nexus 5X as well as Nexus 6P to the latest Android 8.1. So basically, if you take a look at it, currently all these phones are running um, are running on Android 8 already as, as my previous video, which is shown above. Um, I've, I've already shown you guys how to actually flash talk <clears throat> factory image of Android 8. So at this point of time, <clears throat> if you look at it, um, there's already an Oreo 8 update, but we're going to flash straight to 8.1. So as you can see, this is the uh, Android 8 version that we get here, as well as the Nexus. P so it's Android 8. So what we're gonna do today is to show you guys how do you do a uh, upload uh, I mean an like update to the Android 8.1 that's recently released by Google. Okay of course you can follow the method on the other video which we do a flash stock factory image into the phone but that will actually erase everything on your phone. So another way is actually to update to 8.1 <clears throat> at this time will be by OTA packages. So meaning what you do is to sideload the OTA to this two phone itself. So what I'm going to show you now is the way for you to actually sideload the OTA into this phone so that you get upgraded into Android 8.1 and your data will still remain and you won't have to need to reset up everything again. But of course you still can wait for the official OTA to be available so that you can download it. So but if you want the latest and greatest then um, you can actually follow the method in the video to actually help you move to Android 8.1. So let's get on, get on with it. Okay, first of all, um, you guys will need to make sure both the phone that you want to update the Android debugging is enabled. So if you take a look at it, um, the developer option should be enabled. So um, for example, if you want to enable develop option, normally we'll press on the build number. So once you have developer enabled, So as you can see now, we are a developer, so developer option, you will need to enable USB debugging. So you need to click enable to it, okay, and we are done, right? And the same thing goes to the Nexus 5X, you need to enable developer option as well. You need to press on the build number, so we are now a developer. So you go to developer option, then you move to USB debugging, enable, okay. So once you are done with that, you can move on to do the side load. Okay, first of all, before we do the side load, we need to make sure that the uh, side load files is downloaded. Like this one is for the Nexus 5X and this one is for the Nexus 6P. So uh, the next thing to do is to make sure you have uh, ADB installed. So you can use minimal ADB and fast boot. I'll leave a link down below as well as where to download the official OTA package from Google itself. So once you have all that ready, you would need to plug in your phone, right? So let 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 us navigate to the directory path. Let's just copy this and do a CD. And so this is the directory that you have. So the next thing you need to do is to plug in your phone. Okay, once you have your phone plugged in, you can do an ADB devices to check whether the device is connected. So as you can see, it's unauthorized. You should see this uh, screen when you do an ADB devices. So you should put always allowed and press on OK. Okay, so once you have done with that, you should check on ADB devices again. And you should see the device get attached, right? So once you have that ready, you are more or less ready to do the to do the, do the load. But what we need to do now is to reboot to recovery. Okay, so once we are ready, what we need to do now is to actually do a ADB reboot recovery. Us to put into recovery mode 
Okay, normally what we'll see when you boot to recovery is this screen. So, okay, what you can do now is to press the uh, power button and volume up button. So, you should be able to see the uh, recovery screen. So, what you can do now is to use your volume rocker to navigate to apply update from ADB and press on the power button. So, now your device is ready to be side loaded. Right, so what you need to do now is to get back to the computer. Okay, once your phone is in recovery mode and you already have the uh, apply update from ADB status enabled, so you can do a check for ADB devices again. And as you can see now, the status is site load. So you are now ready to do the site load. So what you can do now is do an ADB site load full head for Nexus 5X. So what you do now is just to press enter and you'll be loading the zip file over to the phone. So as you can see the progress will be there and once it's done then it will be completed. You just need to wait for it to finish. Okay once the um, ADB load has the site load has started you will be able to see that uh, they are verifying the update package now. So once the um, thing is over, you will get updated. So we'll just need to wait it out. As you can see now, the um, update update has started. As you can see now, it's actually running patching system image and stuff. So we'll wait for the process to complete. So as you can see now, the site load is completed. So so we are done with the with the site load itself. So we'll go to the phone for the rest of the uh, steps. Okay, as you can see now, the um, Silo is completed, ADB. So what you need to do is just to do a reboot system. So you just need to press on the power button. And you need to wait for the system to get rebooted. Of course, of course you can see now the system is finishing some of the updates. Right, as you can see. So actually if you ask me that the reason, I mean like what is the notable changes that you have in Android 8.1? Um, of course, if you look at it now, it's Android 8.1. If you look at about phone, right? So, of course, you click on this one and they will come up with the Oreo cookie. It used to be Octopus, I guess. So, so now they have an Oreo cookie. So, um, so after that, if we are looking at it, um, what else do they have? Of course, um, I think now you can have some... Um, there are some changes in terms of the... Uh, Bluetooth. You look at um, now. I think they allow you to see how, how what's the power draw, the power draw of the Bluetooth itself. So okay, that's it uh, for Nexus 6P itself. The steps are the same. You are using the same. Just make sure you use the Angular OTA version, which I will include in the download below as well. And the um, way of you doing OTA and stuff is similar as what you have on Nexus 5X. Have any questions regarding the silo OTA to Android 8.1? Uh, feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know. And um, as you have uh, watched my previous video on the pre Black Friday shopping, um, I, I'm actually planning out on how to actually doing reviews and all those items and uh, giveaway videos will be start publishing pretty soon, maybe in sometime in January for New Year start and stuff. So thanks for all the support that you guys have given recently, and I hope that. Um, I'm going to bring more tutorial videos in the future that can help you guys with some of the stuff that I've been using. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe for any future update that I have on different devices that I purchase. Um, there are also some videos upcoming on the um, PC recycling. I'm recycling a few PCs that I have at home for some other purposes where I'll share with you guys what I'm doing with that. And okay, so that's all for today. Um, hope to see you again soon. Bye.